10. Netherlands. The Netherlands has one of the busiest and largest seaside ports in all of Europe, which is also one of the major reasons why the average salary for Netherlanders hovers around $47,000 $29,000 in USD a year. Although because the Netherlands is a democratic socialist country, so they give up nearly 38% of their income for things like universal health care and higher education. But the other benefit of being a Netherlander is that your average work week is under 35 hours. Yeah, not too shabby. 9. South Korea South Korea is the fastest growing economies not only in Asia, but in the entire world. South Korea is the sixth largest exporter and tenth largest importer in the world and is heavily dependent on foreign trade to support its robust economy. It's also one of the biggest exporters of energy. Yeah, it produces so much nuclear energy that it actually sells it to neighboring countries. South Korea's average salary USD is $35,406 per year with personal taxes hovering around 12%. But the biggest downside is the average work week is around 45 hours. 8. Norway. Yup, another socialist democracy on the list. Norway is one of the wealthiest nations in terms of natural resources, including oil, hydropower, fishing, and mining concerns. Like the Netherlands, Norway has universal health care and higher education, but this, of course, comes at a price of Norwegians giving up close to 30% of their $44,000 per year average incomes $31,101 USD. But what they give up in taxes, they make up for in overall free time. Norway has a mandatory 30 hours work week. 7. Canada Oh, Canada, how we Americans love and slightly distrust you. Canada is wealthy with a capital W. The U.S.'s neighbors to the north possesses the second largest oil reserve in the world just behind Saudi Arabia, which makes you wonder why America imports so much of its oil from Saudi Arabia, and is also rich in zinc, uranium, gold, nickel, aluminum, as well as vast agricultural wealth. The average annual income of most Canucks is around $42,000 a year, but has a tax rate of around 23%. But, of course, that 23% pays for universal health care and public education. And, oh yeah, Canada's average work week is around 32 hours per week. 6. United Kingdom. Ah, the merry old UK. England, Scotland, and Ireland comprise the strongest economy in all of Europe. England itself isn't exactly the strongest link in the UK, considering that 75% of its workforce is almost entirely service-based and utterly dependent on tourism. No, the real powerhouse country within the UK is Scotland, which is oil and mineral rich, and Ireland, which produces the bulk of the United Kingdom's foodstuffs. The annual income for the UK is around $45,000 per year, with a tax rate of around 25%. But, once again, the UK has universal health care and education. But residents of the UK don't get to enjoy all that much of their healthy salaries considering that their average work week is 42 hours per week. 5. Australia. Another one of those pesky socialist democracies. Australia has one of the most robust economies in the world and is a huge exporter of foodstuffs as well as oil and minerals, and it imports very few goods. Australia's average income is $44.983 per year with a tax rate of around 23%, which, of course, goes to making sure its citizens are healthy and well-educated. Oh, and Australia enjoys a mandatory 35-hour work week. 4. Switzerland. Switzerland manufacturing sector is the most vital and robust in all of Europe. It produces health and pharmaceutical goods, specialist chemicals, precision measuring instruments and musical instruments. Yeah, think of it as Detroit before Detroit went tits up. Switzerland's gross annual income hovers around $50,000 per year with close to a 30% tax rate. Can you guess where that 30% goes? 3. Luxembourg. If Bank of America, Citibank, and Chase were a country, it would be Luxembourg. Luxembourg is more or less the financial center of Europe. 
Once the primary provider of steel in Europe, its vast exports market now includes chemicals, rubbers, and industrial machinery. The average income in Luxembourg is around $53,000 per year, but has a 28% tax rate, which provides all of its citizens with all that good stuff I've mentioned before. 2. Ireland While Ireland is still the agricultural centre of the UK, its real money comes from the technology industry. Several major video game design companies call Ireland home, as well as several hundred smaller tech companies. The average annual income in Ireland hovers around $51,000 per year, which is lower than Luxembourg, but Ireland's annual tax rate is only at 18.9%, which is the lowest in all of Europe. 1. United States. Ah, see, you are actually paid what you're worth. The United States is the most powerful country in the world. The US has abundant natural resources and we work our asses off, and are the largest importer of goods in the world and the second largest exporter. Americans' gross annual income is around $55,000 per year and the tax rate is around 23% and we enjoy the highest level of disposable income in the world.